Okay, well hopefully you coped all right with the um, last video on, on the basic indices and that you've managed to find some time to do some practice on that. So uh, let's go back to the rules again and look at um, what are always, of course, written down as the uh, simpler rules first. But uh, ironically, at this stage, when you actually meet them, um, these tend to produce the more complicated questions. So we're going to look at uh, simplifying 2x squared squared divided by, make sure I've copied this down right, 4x to the negative 2 all to the power a half. Okay, so we need a strategy. The strategy, I think, is got to be take it one step at a time. Some people are very quick at these and could probably almost look at that and, and tell us what the answer is. But we're not worried about people like that, are we? We're, we're going to uh, work through this step at a time and, and help you to understand it. So here we have a bracket squared. So again, if we're looking for rules, which rule down here would be appropriate? Well, if we look at this one here, we have a bracket to a power. So this, in a way, is the appropriate rule. The problem is that inside it, there's not a single quantity. There is two things, 2 times x squared. So it's a bit more like, so that, although there's a power there, it's a bit more like this one. Now it's very important that you understand which rule you are using. Okay, so let's look at what this rule has to say. This rule, so if I put m equal to 2, this rule tells me that x, y squared equals x squared, y squared. Now go back to here. 2 is replacing x, and instead of y, I've got x squared. I hope you can see that, uh, that clearly. So what does it tell me to do to get the answer? It says that it's got to be x squared. So x is 2, so that's 2 squared. y is x squared. It tells me I want y squared. Well, we all know that 2 squared is 4. Now look what we've got, because I've now got a power raised to a power, which is rule 4. And rule 4 says, if I have a power inside a bracket and a power outside a bracket in this, in this situation, I multiply those powers together. So x2, x squared, squared is x to the power 4. OK, so let's make that a nice colour. So I've dealt with this then, and I've turned it into that. Now let's have a look at this second bracket, a similar technique, OK? So this time, x is 4, so I have 4. Let's, let's colour this and let's make it a bit clearer where we are. So we'll make this little chap here yellow. So we look at that first, 4 <clears throat> with the power of half, so we want 4 to the half. And then x to the negative 2 to the half. Remember what power of half means? It means the square root. 4 square rooted is 2. Rule 4 tells me a power to a power, I multiply them together. Negative 2 times a half is negative 1. So I've now got the yellow box worked out. Make that colourful round there like that. So, 
I've now got to divide the pink box by the yellow box. So I'm trying to divide 4x to the 4. Now, I'm always nervous of a division sign. I'd, I'd like to write this underneath because I think it's clearer as to what we're going to do next. The sort of a picture is almost telling you what to do, isn't it? So 4 over 2, well, that's 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now look here, x to the 4 divided by x to the minus 1. I now need a rule for division of powers. Well, I've got that. It's rule 2. And rule 2 says if I divide a power by another power, I subtract the powers. One of the powers is negative. So it's x to the power 4 take away negative 1. 4 add 1 is 5, so that turns into 2x to the power 5. Okay, so I've simplified this quite common, look, uh, sorry, quite uh, complicated looking uh, expression and uh, made it look much easier. But you can see here, can't you, that uh, you need to be very careful here because there's lots of steps there. And if we analyse how many different times we've used formulae over here, um, several places to go wrong. Uh, so this is the first place, very easy to go wrong from here down to here. And then keep each bit separate. And then, of course, down here, when you've got a negative power on the bottom line, it's a bit dodgy, isn't it? So just be careful with these. And you'll need to do a lot of practice with these, OK? Just uh, don't be scared to practice them. Don't think you'll master this in one go. Uh, it's, it's, it's not easy, but it's very important. OK, well, well best of luck with those then. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.